And the EU has threatened to impose another round of sanctions on Russia, blaming it for the violence in eastern Ukraine. However, the unity over punitive measures appears to be fraying. Uh, Slovakia's prime minister, for example, criticizing them as a meaningless gesture that would just threaten economic growth in various EU member states. The Czech president claimed the restrictions themselves are ineffective and can only lead to a further spiraling of relations going down. And that divide has even deepened uh, further after Russia's retaliatory ban on Western-produced food, which has now left many European companies without access to a key market. Now, earlier, we spoke to the European Union's ambassador to Russia. He expressed uh, optimism for a quick return to business as usual. Of course, <clears throat> some companies uh, may, uh, may, may face some uh, losses and uh, will be looking for the alternatives, as I said, uh, especially those countries and those uh, exporters to, to the Russian market who have been under scrutiny of uh, appropriate Russian institutions, have faced certain sanctions and barriers. They have successfully overcome by uh, finding new, uh, new niches. However, of course, we're keen to maintain the trade. Uh, we value Russian customer. And I am sure the Russian customer values European product and I hope we'll come back to business as usual soon.